The tutorial you're about to see is a part of a 5 star rated Udemy course, Arduino Zero to Hero. It also comes with its own specialized Arduino kit by DF Robot. Check it out, both links in the description. Hello and welcome! In this tutorial we're gonna create an RGB LED, this one, color mixer. And this is the schematics. Essentially, we're gonna take these three PWM pins. We're going to actually just use standard digital writes for now and connect them to an RGB LED. And what today is inspired by is a documentary that I saw on BBC not so long ago about James Clerk Maxwell, the famous uh, guy, I think he was a physicist who discovered the equations of electromagnetism. But his first great invention was this color wheel. And this color wheel essentially spins. And if you can spin it fast enough, this portion of red, green, and blue becomes white. So I'm gonna connect the RGB LED and I'm gonna try to figure out if I can make the colors blink red, green, blue, red, green, blue, red, green, blue, until they appear to be white. And then we're gonna explore at which point exactly do our human eyes get fooled? So I'm gonna zoom in on the circuit and we're gonna build this thing first. So we're gonna use pins three, six, three, five, and six. So zero, one, two, three, five, six. The LED, this is the DF Robot RGB LED, there are two types. The longest leg is either going to go into the red or the blue. So it is a cathode or anode first. So there's these two models. I know for a fact that the longest leg is gonna go into the blue here. And uh, dun, dun, dun. there it is, it's in. In fact, I'm thinking if I'm gonna add buttons in the future or, 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 or um, more devices at the start of the breadboard. I'm better off putting it out the back. So I'm gonna put it all the way there. Come on. And I'll get these three, they're 220 resistors. That one was wrong correctly for this one and that guy's gonna move over one and end up in there so um i don't actually know which is red which is green which is blue but this is something where i really recommend the experimental approach it's only going to take us a minute to find out so if um we jump into the code merge where is my code? Right there. So let's just declare int LED red. And I'm going to get them probably wrong. Three. Then I'm going to go green, blue, and I'm going to go five and six. But then we're just going to um, turn them on one by one. And we'll figure out which is which. So green, I'm going to say five. Five and blue one second and blue I'm gonna say six then I'm gonna pin mode all of those as output pin mode comma output green So I'm just going to digital right LED red comma I and I'm going to delay delay a thousand. So by the order in which they come on, I will know what is what. So 
So the first pin three, then five, then six is going to come on. And if I have to change the colors up here, the names up there, I'm going to do so. LED, red, green, blue. So let's find out. The first color to come on is going to be pin three. So pin three should be changed too. So it's gonna be blue first. Ah, I really should have had them turn off. So, so this is going to be LED blue. I'm going to swap blue for red, although I could be wrong. And um, I'm going to turn the blue one on first. And what's your problem? So this time the blue one goes on first. Oh, and then if we get green and finally red, I believe it's accurate. I believe it's accurate. Blue, it should be blue, green, red. So this should be green low. So if it's blue, green, red, we've got it right. Done. Beautiful. So we have our pin colors sorted. And now I want to make this. Um, I want to make this sequence repeat sort of in a shrinking time. I guess I'm going to call int wait or pause. Pause. It's not a taken name, which is nice. Int pause. I'm just going to start with something fairly large. It's going to be 200. And just for my OCD sake, I'm going to start with the red. So I'm going to start with the red. LED red high. Then I'm going to delay whatever that pause is. Then I'm going to turn red low. And then I'm going to go to the next one. And red, green, perfect. This is going to be pause. So red on for this much time, then green on for this much time, and then finally blue. Blue on for that sort of pause time. So just to make sure it works, we should get red, green, blue, 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 red, green, blue. Just in case you're having a hard time seeing it, there it is in slow motion. Okay, so now what I want to do is shrink the pause. Pause equals to pause minus one. And, well, if we're going to start at 500, we might as well shrink it by a little bit more. And what we want to do is say also if pause is less than, like, let's say if pause is less than 3, we're going to make pause equal to 2. Now, you don't need the curly braces on the if if it's only one single line. That's kind of one neat thing about Arduino. So typically I'd have curly braces around that if. But if I press Control T, no, that's just gonna neaten itself out like that. Okay, so I think this is worth trying. We're gonna so start off with a half a second pause. Red, green, blue, red, green, blue, red, green, blue. And that pause is going to shrink. And what I am hoping to see is that eventually 
you won't be seeing red, green, blue. You will be seeing white. Let's find out. So, I can't really tell if it's getting faster. Basically, the first half of the shrinking, by the time it gets to like 200, that's going to take the longest time. But we're going to wait it out. We're going to wait it out because I want to see. Yep, it is definitely going faster now. Red, green, blue. Red, green, blue. So in retrospect, I really should have started around 200. But nonetheless, if you get really close to it, you can see the actual tiny LED elements changing. And interestingly enough, the red is in the middle, so it's actually blue, blue, red, green, if you look inside, like inside, inside the LED. This just isn't, it's a lot less than half a second now. I'm just thinking how many iterations will it take to get from 500, like 250 iterations. But yeah, it's getting there. The, the changes are getting harder and harder to notice. There you go, that's interesting. You can still see the changes, you can still see them, but we're getting there, we're getting there, we're getting there, we're getting there. The blue-green just happened so fast. And look at that. I'm beginning to see some white light. Wow. And that is white light. That is white light. And we can try to make this, I don't know, we can try to make it the, the sort of standard frequency. Even if we start at 100, you may still notice it, but I want to make it the standard frequency, which is something like uh, 50 hertz, 50 blinks a second. So 50 blinks a second means that this delay here is... Um, 20 so we're gonna go so we're not gonna see all three within 20 so i imagine the magic number is about eight here like a pause of eight but i want to bring the pause down to 20 and i want to see if our eyes can catch this or if we're gonna see white da -da 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 that wow there you have it, that's 50 hertz there. So for a 50th of a second, you see blue, then for a 50th of a second, you'd see green, then for a 50th of a second, you see red. And you can see that, it, it, they're making white. They're essentially fooling your eyes, my eyes. And that's a very interesting property of human vision. Like I, if we filmed that LED in slow motion, I guarantee you the LEDs actually go off if not all the way, they go off 90% of the way. And we see white. We see white where there's actually just blue, green, red, blue, green, red, blue, green, red. That's pretty cool. Okay. 
So that is all for this tutorial. In the next one, we are going to be adding three uh, potentiometers to mix these colors to make any color you can imagine. See you then. If you enjoyed this tutorial, hit the like button, totally good karma, and do subscribe. A lot more like this coming in 2018. Again, check out the links in the description and the playlist right here on your screen right now.